In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Audacity, which is a free audio editing program for Windows or Macintosh operating systems, to adapt uh, an existing MP3 file uh, into a file that offers page turning prompts for students uh, to practice their reading skills. Here's our our file and I have created three dead spaces that are suitable for prompts to be added. I would do this for every page uh, in the book. First thing we want to do, once we have identified those spots, we go to the file menu and we'll import an audio file. My uh, program points me right to where my music files are or my sound files. I'm going to pick uh, a prompt of a harmonica and I'll import that. Unfortunately, when it imports, it also compresses my timeline. So I'm going to expand my timeline a little bit so that I can see my, whoops, not quite that far, my three spaces where my prompts will be added. Moving the slider bar uh, back, I can now see my harmonic, harmonica file. Just as we would in Microsoft Word when we want to move things around, we can uh, copy and then we can paste those in at the furthest left point in our dead space. That'll give the student enough time to hear the prompt and turn the page. Let's take a listen to see how that might sound. And when you hear this sound, they'll know to turn the page. Obviously I've done that for for every page in in the book. I will remove my prompt. If you find that you don't have sounds available, uh, you can go to findsounds.com on the web and locate many interesting and obnoxious sounds that would um, work very well for allowing students to have a prompt so that they can um, have a make a or you can make a page turning book for them and help them be successful in their reading. I will then export this whole selection naming it a unique file name so that I don't disrupt my original and I'll save it and move on. So that's the end of this project.